congratulations. Vice President of Education three times. Whoa. Oh and he's a past club president. Yes, he is. Twice. <laughs> when it was suggested he run for club president, his reply was, are you crazy? <laughs> it was, as it was for me, crazy. Serving as our, club pre as our club president was one of the best things that Carmelo has done in his life. With his speech titled, <coughs> Ocasionem Carpe, please give a warm welcome to distinguished Toastmaster, Carmelo Bellardo III. Not carpe diem, but ocasionem carpe. Seize the opportunity. Why are you here in Toastmasters? Public speaking, you were called to action, you may have stumbled across it online. Whatever the calling was, you ended up here at the Winter Park Toastmasters. You are now either your member or you're a visitor, maybe dipping your toes in the water to check how cold the water is. Today, my intention is to inspire you to take action, to move forward. Mr. Toastmaster, fellow Toastmasters and guests, I'm a health insurance agent. I joined my company in 2014, and it's been a roller coaster ride with my experience up until today. Most likely, must, much like the industry you find yourself in, in the past. These are the vicissitudes of life. Are you a passenger on this journey? Or are you the Zenida, the tour guide through the maze that is life? Perhaps, <laughs> Like me, at one point or another, you've been both. Professionally, I found myself the passenger on this bus. I didn't like that. It took me places that were dark. Last year, I met a fork in the road, and I was looking to be transferred to a local office from an office in Jacksonville. I live in Altamont Springs. It doesn't make sense that I'm in an office in Jacksonville. So I went to this office, and I was at the door, about to grab the knob to open the door. And I stopped. And I turned around. And I went down the other road. That was a year ago. And Last week, I found myself inspired. So without even thinking about it, I got dressed, I went to the office, and I just walked in. I didn't think. And I took action, and I'm in the process, almost completed, of being transferred to this office. Hopefully, to get my life and achieve the success that I once had, I can. <coughs> In 1995, I witnessed a speech given by a gentleman named Mark Yarnell. And in that speech, Mark encouraged the audience to join Toastmasters. 1995. In 2008, I was given the gift of the opportunity to join Toastmasters. I was at a Hooters restaurant for a breakfast networking meeting. <laughs> yes, Hooters. For breakfast. <laughs> Don't ask me. I was speaking with someone, and in the midst of our conversation, which I don't remember what we were talking about or who I was talking to, I heard the word Toastmasters behind me. And I stopped that conversation, excused myself, and turned around and tapped the gentleman on the shoulder. And I said, Excuse me, let me interrupt you, but where and when is Toastmasters? And Toastmaster Tim Rickey told me, it's tomorrow morning, 7.30. The <laughs> Mount Vernon Inn. Dress for success, he said. 
I never stopped coming. I found my home. I found the gift of Toastmasters. The gift of Winter Park Toastmasters. What brought you to Toastmasters? Think about that for a moment. If you're a guest, it's your first time. I know it was Tom that brought you, but what brought you to Toastmasters? Was it for inspiration, for guidance, leadership? Well, I'll tell you, today, you have the same opportunity that I had in 2008. Here's my unsolicited advice. Do what you will with it. Do it now. Don't wait. Time is precious. A whole year went by for me. A whole year. Who knows where I would be if I would have taken that opportunity last year and turned that knob. Do it now. Number two, sometimes we're given an opportunity, like today, like last night. Our third speaker was given an opportunity to take advantage of a speaking slot. Say yes. Say yes, even if you're terrified. My motto has always been, do that what you fear most first. Do it now. <clears throat> Number three in our club, serve on the board. Serve on the board. Whether or not you think you're ready, <laughs> you're ready. And the board needs people. The board needs leaders, even if you're a developer. I couldn't believe it when I was asked by Roy Shear. Well, I wasn't asked, I was instructed. Carmel, oh, no, you should be on the board, you should be president. And I did say, are you crazy, Roy? There's no way. I promise you. You become a board member six months later, you may not recognize yourself. And it's not just in Toastmasters, it's in life, it's at home, it's in business. Your thoughts, it will change you. And you may not be able to see that now, but trust me and ask anybody who's been on the board. You have the district trio here today. I did not know that they will be here. And we have a guest from Jamaica. Oh my goodness. <laughs> ask them what serving has done for them. Seize the opportunity. Ocasione Carpe. Mr. Tosman.